These three players are about to be put to the test by this magnificent machine. The reward for an A-star performance could be £10,000. Right here on Tipping Point. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today, so let's meet them. I'm Kyle, an antiques dealer from Cumberland. I'm Julia, a flight attendant from Cheltenham. And I'm Mark, a sales manager from Manchester. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will have £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. All three of you will be going through to round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game to keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Hands on your buzzers, it comes your first question. According to a musical number in the 1952 film Singing in the Rain, Moses supposes his toeses are which flower? Kyle. Hoses? No, roses. It's roses. Moses supposes his toeses are roses, Carl, I'm afraid. So we're going to have to steal that counter from you. That's going to go into the penalty spot. You'll get a chance to win it back at the end of the round. All three of you will be playing for it. Here's your next question. In his first three days on the job in January 2021, which US president signed a number of executive orders? Kyle. Joe Biden. Reversing the policies of his predecessor, Donald Trump. You're absolutely right. That's more like it, Carl. So would you like to play or pass the first counter? I think I'll pass, please. Who are you going to pass to? Uh, Mark. Mark, right then, let's see. Where can we put this first counter? Uh, I'm going to go for the double in drop zone four, please, Ben. Let's do it, fire up. Get it on the right, the double's not far off, is it? Just on the left on the side for the mystery as well. Oh, yes. Could be good for the double, let's see. If we get it flat. Oh, it's flat? Is it there flat? Yeah. Good. Now, squeeze that little cluster off the top. Yeah, there you go. Is the bottom shelf going to go for you? Yes, it is. <laughs> Cracking start. Very generous, Carl. <laughs> Three across the tipping point for you there, Mark, which is £150. But the first one into the machine drags out the double. What a great start. Let's double it up and give you another £150. So £300 with that drop. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So you've got yourself £300, Mark, and you've still got two okay. counters left as well. Here's your next question. When it was first introduced to Britain, which green vegetable that has a thick stem and large flowering heads was called... Mark. Is it a leek? It was called Italian asparagus. It's not a leek, it's broccoli, Mark. Broccoli. It was broccoli. Uh, I'm afraid you're wrong, so we have to steal accounts from you. That's another one into the penalty pot. There's now two you'll all be playing for. Here's your next question. Pop singer Anne-Marie became a coach on the 2021 series... Julia. The Voice. Of which chair spinning ITV talent show? Yep, The Voice UK. Well done, Julia. Now, are you going to play or pass? I'm going to pass to Kyle. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Carl, where should we go? Drop zone two looks okay. Fire up two, please. <laughs> yeah, busy drop. Nice settle. There That's go. good, isn't it? Top shelf just works for you. Here's the bottom note. I'm not sure it's quite ready. No, it's not ready. Good pass by Julia. Here's your next question. Which chemical element commonly used in pennies and piping has the chemical symbol Julia? Lead? Not lead, no. Chemical symbol CU. It's copper. Wow. We don't want lead piping, do we? Not these days, Julia. Uh, I'm afraid <laughs> we have to steal a counter from you. That's gone into the penalty pot. Uh, you're all being very generous to the penalty pot. There's now three you'll all be playing for. Here's your next question. Produced by Hasbro, which property trading board game? Julia. Monopoly. Has an Empire edition. It is Monopoly. That's more like it. Right, you ready to play this time? I will. I'll try drop zone four. Let's do four, please. So on the left-hand side, there's nice action, isn't there? 
Yeah, nice. Hopefully bring that mystery down. Maybe the black counter alongside it. Mystery's over. So six counts to catch Mark. And one sneaks in. You've left a fair bit there, but let's take that one for you, Julia. £50 crosses the tipping points. Let's put it into your bank. It gets you off the mark. And you've got one counter left to play. Here's your next question. The Merseyside Maritime Museum is located in which city, Mark? Uh, Liverpool. In northwest England, it is Liverpool. Yep, you're absolutely right, Mark. Would you like to play this last one of yours? Give uh, four a goal again. Let's do it. Four up, please. Yeah, nice. Just where Julia took hers. Bit, really. Is that silver one going to come through? That's all you need Should over. It's going to bang on the mystery. Get over. Ooh, <laughs> they are close. <laughs> a huge stash stays in the machine with three did drop marks. It's going to extend your lead by £150. Let's take it and put it into your bank, and that's going to leave you on £450. You've now used all three of your counters, so for the time being, you are out. So, Kyle and Julia, this next question is for the two of you. The abbreviation AC refers to what system used to cool a room? Julia. Air conditioning. Yes, building or vehicle. Right. Would you like to play, Julia? I'll play Drop Zone 4. Please. Drop Zone 4 it is. <laughs> oh, slams down on the right. Is that black counter in the middle going to go? No, but a couple works to it do. I'm going to go on here. Go in. Oh, well done, oh, Julia. Well done. Got it. Julia, you needed eight counters to catch Mark. That's eight across the tipping point. Ooh. Really lovely, 400 pounds. That's nice. Dropping with your last one. Let's take it and put well it done. into your bank. That's going to draw you level with Mark on 450 pounds. So, Kyle, it's just you, because it's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine. OK. Here we go, then. In Olympic swimming, how many lengths of the pool does a competitor swim in order to complete a 100-metre race? One. No. Two, the 50 metre lengths, aren't they? 100 metre pool is a very long pool, yeah. uh, Carl. That's 50 metres, I'm afraid. Uh, so we have to steal that last of your counters. That's gone into the penalty pot as well. So as things stand, Julia and Mark both have £450. Carl's got nothing in the bank, but it's not over. We have four counters up for grabs in the penalty pot. I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put all four counters into the machine. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Good luck, guys. Here comes your penalty pot question. Someone who is ashamed or upset due to a defeat is said to have their tail between... Kyle. Legs. Which limbs of the body? Well <laughs> done, Kyle. I needed that. Brilliant <laughs> stuff. All four of these counts are yours. Brilliant. So where would you like to put the first one? Uh, drop zone two, please, Let's Ben. Let's have drop zone two. Great opportunity for you now to close the gap. Nine counters out, and you'll catch Julia and Mark. Okay. Slides and settles nicely just behind the double. Mm. Just going to stay there for a bit. That's OK. Still that got three more. Next. Staying with two again? Yes, please. Ben. Two again, please. That's good. If we get it flat. Let's get flat now. Yes, yes. nice and flat. flat. So hopefully we can get something over the top shelf and start shifting the tipping points. Yeah, we can. Ooh. Nice broad shove here would be good. Ooh. Oh, we're on the way. Ooh. £50 drops in for you, Carl. Let's put that into the machine. Thank you. Still got two more to go in, Carl. Uh, drop zone two still, please. Two again. Yeah, nice and flat. So, might just shift the top shelf. I'm not sure they're going to go over this time, are they? They're going to get close. Oh, nearly. We've needed all four of them. <laughs> There's a lot on the tip point. One more to go, Carl. Drop zone two. Uh, drop zone two, please. Two up, please. That's yes, flat. it's down. Oh, we can't get anything over. We need something over the top. Go on. Yes. Ooh. And a bit of lateral movement. We're looking for eight to catch Julia and Mark. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so that cluster remains in the machine, but four did drop for you, Carl. So another £200. Add that to the 50 you'd already got. And from those four penalty pot counters, Let's take the £250 and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, both Mark and Julia have £450. Carl's closed the gap. He's on 250 So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit.
If you'd like a brand new Tipping Point experience, then why not try Tipping Point Blast? You can download it on Google Play and the App Store for free and play wherever you are, whenever you like. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Kyle, Julia and Mark are battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So, Julia and Mark, you both have £450, but, Julia, by virtue of the fact that you answered the question correctly before Mark in the last round, you get to choose. Would you like to play first? Or would you like to ask Kyle or Mark to play? I'll go first. OK. 45 seconds for Julia, please. Your time starts now. In European geography, which city is the capital of France? Paris. Correct. In cricket, which fielding position is the only one permitted to wear gloves and external lead guards? Wicketkeeper. Correct. Commonly found in Britain, which tree has the scientific name Quercus Roba? Pass. Oak. Which singer and actor plays the character Richie Tozer in the 2021 Channel 4 drama series It's a Sin? Pass. Holly Alexander. Flathead and Phillips Head are two varieties. Screwdrivers. Correct. In January 2021, the cost of which class of stamp increased to 85 pence? The first class? Correct. Grey lag, Egyptian and pink-footed are species of which water bird? Pass. Goose. Cook, Eat, Love is a 2017 recipe book by which TV and radio presenter? Oh, the lovely Wait, fern, Cotton. Uh, the okay. lovely fern. <laughs> Uh, Julie, you got four correct answers in there. Okay. Uh, very well done as well, because we had that ambient drop in the middle and those four counters that have dropped, unfortunately, they're going to have to be voided from the machine. Right, so we've got four counters. So where would you like to start? I will go for drop zone three. Bow up three, please. There we go, nice. The little gathering of counters on the bottom shelf there. Ooh. Yes! <laughs> Took their time. Ooh, I'll take those four, though. Nice start. £200. Yeah. Pounds. Well done, Julia. You're up and running. Where next? Stick with drop zone three, and if not, then I'll... Nothing goes on. Move on. But... OK. Stay with three, then. <laughs> not the side you wanted it. Not really. Let's see if we get those two there. Wow. Yes, nice. Oh, there you go. There. There's the mystery that's hidden away on the bottom shelf. You see a bit more of it now. Oh, and suddenly the tipping point looks tasty. So can you tear yourself away? Or are you going to stay there? What are you thinking? Oh, I'll go one more there. <laughs> Drop zone three, please. That's nice. That's the side you just left them. Is the top shelf going to play? This could be a good one. Yes. Can you get that mystery forward? Can you? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice drop. <laughs> oh, that. Six more, Julia. Very nice. £300. Takes you up to £500. What are you thinking now? I'll go number three. Just get that one over and done with. Bar up three, please. Just sneaking into four. It's got to be hard on the right. Just wait for the last two. Oh. So there's a mystery on the other side. Oh, oh been... but you're just oh, going to leave it on the top the shelf. One. The dilemma. The tipping point dilemma. But £500 regardless, let's take that and put it into your bank, Julia. Well done. That's going to leave you on £950. Okay. Right, Mark, we come to you. Your choice now. You can either play next if you think the machine's ready, or you could ask Kyle to play. There's a few there on the left hand side on drops on one, so I'll play, please. Okay. Ben. 45 seconds for Mark, please. Your time starts now. The alcoholic cocktail, the strawberry daiquiri, is typically what primary colour? Red. Correct. When Cardinal Wolsey fell from power in the 1520s, Hampton Court Palace passed to which British monarch? Uh, Queen Victoria. Henry VIII. One by One was the first UK number one album for which US rock band fronted by Dave Grohl? Pass. Foo Fighters. The seven brightest stars of the constellation Ursa Major feature on the official flag of which US state? Uh, Texas. Alaska. <laughs> in the animations featuring Wallace and Gromit, what animal is Gromit? Uh, it's a dog. Yes. Which low-cost airline has the International Civil Aviation Code, RYR? Uh, Ryanair. Correct. The Baroque painter Artemisia Gentileschi was born in the capital city of which modern-day country? Uh, Greece. Italy. Which stage musical features the songs Follow the Fold and Sue Me? Guys and Dolls. It was Guys and Dolls. Not seen it. Three correct answers in there, Mark. Three counts put into the machine. So where do you want to go? Drop zone one, please, Ben. Yeah, fire up. Drop zone one, please. Yeah. 
Ooh. Quick drop. That was a quick one. Couple over the edge between two one. and one. Get on that side. It looks ready to go though. Oh, it does Ooh. look ready. Taking out a few from drop zone two. Four in fat marks. A nice tidy start. Let's put that 200 pounds in. Two more to go in, Mark. Staying with one? Yeah, I think we'll stick with one, please. Drop someone again. Oh, get down. <laughs> Did it right? Get down. Just needed a yeah, chef on the end yeah. of that. <laughs> yeah, get down, chef. <laughs> Come on, get those two over the top, chef. All that. Oh, oh. oh! Just got pinned. So you've got one counter still to go. So I think we'll stick with uh, one, please, Drop some one again, please. There's a lot on the tipping point here. We're still looking for six to catch Julia. Really busy Same drop. Same side again. Ooh, Same, side. Same side. Is it going to be flat? I think a few will go over, though. Get down. Yes. yes. Flat. It's flat. It is That's nice good. and flat. Good it's a big squeeze push here, Ben. Should be a good one. Need. Big push. Carl Go thinks on. it's going to be good. Go on. We're over into two as well. Go on, flip over. Go on, give it a shove. Ooh, nicely done. <laughs> Mark, another five across the tipping points, and not a bad finish. We can give you £250 to add to the 200 that's there. So 450 in total. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that's going to leave you just £50 shy of Julia on £900. Thank you. Right then, Carl, we come to you. 45 seconds for Carl, please. Your time starts now. The pair of household implements typically used together to clean are the dustpan and what? Brush. Correct. The Simplon Pass linking Switzerland and Italy runs through which European mountain range? The Alps. Correct. Which former X Factor contestant and TV presenter married Dan Neal in 2015? Ryland Clark. Correct. The 1926 work entitled Black Iris is a close-up view of a single flower by which American artist? Pass. Georgia O'Keeffe. Penicillium rock 40 is a type of mould used to make blue varieties of which dairy product? Cheese. Correct. Jordan Baker and George Wilson are characters in which 1925 F. Scott Fitzgerald novel? The uh, Great Expectation. The Great Gatsby. Which African island nation has the top level internet domain .mg? Madagascar. Carla is Madagascar and you have just squeezed it in in time. Well done. Brilliant. Which means you managed to get five correct answers, five counters put into the machine. Where would um, you like to start? Drop some one, please. One up, please. That was a... Oh! Now, could have gone with that. That gets a little nudge. It could be enough. Be flat. That's flat. They are really close. Really, really close to that pair just there. Oh, oh, there you go. Just peels them over. So going into one and two. Nice. It's a lovely start. Well done. There we go. Nice. Carl, nine with your first drop. Four hundred and fifty pounds. It's a really, really good start. You've closed the gap. Just four counters needed to catch Mark. Where would you like to go next? Drop someone, please, Ben. Drop someone. It is. That's fine. Ooh, moves around a lot, didn't it? From left to right, is it going to be, be flat? Might get that mystery counter. Get it down. nice and flat. Yeah, it's, you're right, Julia. Can that mystery come down? Good squeeze on that because there's a couple Ooh. in front of it. There yep, we there we go. We're looking for four more. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> well done, nice. Carl. Mark, I'm sorry. That means we're going to lose you at the end of this round. Carl, that's another seven across the tipping point. Brilliant. You're absolutely rinsing the machine. Certainly, drop zone one. You're up to eight hundred pounds. Still got three more to put in as well. Where would you fancy going next? Drop mm. zone three, please. Let's have drop zone three. Yeah, slides nice. nicely. That's a good spot as well. That couple there for you. Is the mystery's going to get a nudge. Is it going to get enough of a nudge? Mm. Not quite. Not this time. Two more to go in, though, Kyle. I'll stick with drop zone three, please, Ben. Three again. Yeah, nice lovely. Line. Whips down, settles well. Ooh, oh, now it's looking good. Oh, the mystery's in already. Line. Maybe get some more here. Yeah, we do. Well done. Well done. Uh, Carlos, another six across the tipping points. So another £300. Up to £1,100. You're really opening up a good lead. You've got your hands on the mystery prize as well, which is a luxury picnic hamper, courtesy of Regency Hampers. Lovely. Great stuff. Thank and you've you. got one more count to put into the machine, Carl, so your work's not done yet. Uh, stick with drop zone three, please. One last hit on three, please. Oh, that's fast. 
rapid drop. Can we get some over the top shelves? There's a few gaps here and there. Oh, the silver one wants to go. Gonna finish with a couple more. Yeah, we are. Well done. Nice. And that's another five across the tipping point to finish with. So a very successful trip to the machine. Takes you up to £1,350 and it's all changed. Let's take it and put it into your bank. And from last to first, Carl is now leading with £1,600. Julia goes through with £950. There's only £50 in it, Mark, but I'm afraid that means with your £900, we have found your tipping point. Thank you so much for playing. OK, cheers, Ben. Thanks very much. Top stuff. So it's Carl and Julia who'll be going head to head after the break for the right to pay for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, it's your chance to win an amazing cash prize for £30,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £2. Text WIN to 65433. Text costs £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP2212, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Kyle and Julia. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one is going to be taking on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the count into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the count into the machine. And whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. Kyle, you are leading, so you can choose. But the first question, would you like to offer it to Julia? I'll take my first one, please, I think. All right, here we go. First one for you. Created in the early 1800s, a nude sculpture by Antonio Canova depicts which French leader as Mars the Peacemaker? You can pass this to Juliet if you're not sure. Does it ring any bells? It does. I think I know. I'm going to take a risk. I think it's Napoleon. You think you're going to go with Napoleon? Yeah. OK. Julia, would you have known that? Not a Scooby. No. So you were quite relieved <laughs> he went for it? Yes. <laughs> Carl, let's see. Is the answer Napoleon? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Another correct answer, so another counter. Where do you want to go? Uh, drop zone four, please, Ben. Let's have drop zone four, please. For that. Yeah, that's where I wanted it. Slams down. Is anything going to go over the top? Not sure. No, Ooh. not just yet. Mm. Right, Julia. Here comes your first question. Which Labour Prime Minister served as MP for the Scottish constituency of Kirkcaldy and Cowdenbeath? Well, I might have to pass this only because I'm not very good. I only really know a couple of Prime Ministers, so right. I'll pass this You're one. going to pass it over to Kyle. Great chance for you to steal this one, having just set up that top shelf and four, Kyle. Any thoughts? John Major is Gordon Brown. I think he's Conservative again. Uh, Keir Starmer, but he wasn't Prime Minister. I'm going to have to go the only one I can think of. Tony Blair, Labour. Tony Blair, Labour Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah OK. Uh, Julia, did you have any thoughts? That's, it would have been Tony Blair as well. But... You might have gone Tony Blair yeah. as well. OK, let's see if you're right. Is the answer Tony Blair? <laughs> it's not Tony Blair, it was Gordon Brown. Oh, do you know when you said Gordon Brown? I, I thought, thought he was I Scottish. Might he is yeah. Scottish and he's <laughs> Labour, but I think you thought he might have been Conservative. I thought he was Conservative. No, 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 no. Uh, so, Julia, it worked out in the Good end pass. that pass. <laughs> Where do you want to put the counter? Drop zone four. Drop zone four it is. Yeah, nice. That's where you want it. It is. If we can clean some of that top shelf out, which you can, Julia. Oh. Good yeah. spread here. Is the mystery going to go? <laughs> <laughs> it all parted <laughs> round the mystery. Six counters across the tipping point. £300. Well done. Let's take it from the machine and put it in your bank. It puts you on £1,250. Carl, we come back to you. Time for your second question. Which Canadian stand-up comedian created and stars in the 2020 Netflix sitcom The Duchess? You can play this or pass. I know this one. Good. I've seen this. She's quite funny. Uh, Catherine Ryan. Julia, did you know that one? I knew it was Catherine. I wouldn't have been able to remember her you surname. You wouldn't have got the surname. Let's see if you're right, Kyle. Is the answer Catherine Ryan? Yes. And it is brilliant. You're absolutely right. She's brilliant. actually played Lucky Stars as well. Okay. How'd she do? She did very well. Real. 
sensational. Carl, where would you like to put this counter? I think I'll try for the mystery. So drop zone three, please, Ben. Drop zone three, come at it from the right. Fire three up, please. Oh, yeah. Where I wanted it. Bang where you wanted it. It's not going to take much, is it? Julia got it all but there. Can you get enough lateral on yeah, it? It's going to take it. No, oh. it's not. Oh. As it is, Julia, he's left them sitting there, poised. And your question, here we go, your second one. Grown on the Caribbean island of Curacao, the Laraja is a type of which citrus fruit? It's spelt L-A-R-A-H-A, Laraja. OK. So, thinking of citrus fruit... You can pass if you're not sure. I'm not sure, but I'm wondering whether just to take a stab at a citrus fruit. But I won't. I'm going to pass it. Don't want to take them. <laughs> Too scared. I was devastated by that. Yeah. Right, citrus fruits. We've got an orange press at home. I think I'd know if it was oranges. That's the only citrus fruit. I'm going to have to go oranges. Oranges? Yeah. Yeah. Julia, what were you thinking? I would have gone lemons, probably. You might have gone lemons. So it's on the Caribbean island of Curacao, the Laraja. Is it a type of orange? Yeah, oh. it is. Well done. Yeah, well done. Where do you want to put the counter? I'll try drop zone three again, please. Let's then. have three. Oh, right side. Oh, Getting close to it, isn't it? Where are you going to go? It's a bit of a gap. going to take it. Do you think so? Yeah. Still up. Teasing you both. Oof. Teased. Carl, you retain control. Time for your third and final question. What is the only US state whose name in English has just one syllable? Do you know your US states, Carl? I'm just trying to think. It's uh, trying to run them through my head. Yeah, don't say anything out loud just yet, because you can still pass this, of course, to Julia. I'll pass. You're going to pass it over. Right, Julia. I'm going to say Maine. You're going to go with Maine. Yeah. yeah. And it's a great steal if you've got it, Julia, just as it's all set up. Is it Maine? Yeah. Well done. Julia, great steal. Where do you want to put the counter? I'll go three. Top zone three? Yeah. Fire up three, please. I think we want it on the right, really, don't we? So it's all between three and four, as you okay. say. We need something. Now, if we can get a bit of lateral and that black counter comes down right in the middle there. There you go. We need some lateral here. And it's going to push it. To squeeze the others. No! Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. They need a bit more encouragement, Julia. You do keep control, though. Time for your third and final question. In 1985, which tennis player became the first unseeded competitor to win the men's singles competition at Wimbledon? Sport, not really my thing. I think it's Kyle's thing. Don't know how he is with tennis, but I don't really want to guess it, so I will pass. Right, Kyle. Do you like tennis? I don't like tennis. Andy Murray's too too young. It's Bjorn Borg, but I don't know if that's a, a band or if it's a... Bjorn Borg. Bjorn Borg? Bjorn. Yeah. Does that bring any bells for you, Julia, Bjorn Borg? No, I did don't you have, know. Did you have anyone in mind? I mean, who would you have there with? are tennis players, like Boris Becker and, you know, oh. Andrew Agassin, people like that, but I, I... You wouldn't have been confident enough to go for it? Yeah. Let's see if you're right, Kyle. If you are, you steal the counter. Is the answer Bjorn Borg? Boris Do you know, the answer is Boris Becker. <laughs> Borg did win it five times. Oh, yeah, but he was one of the most prolific uh, tennis players in the 80s, so okay. it was a good answer. But he just not seen it. But Becker was the right answer. Good you pass. didn't need it, though, Julia. You get the counter, cos Kyle was wrong, so you've given yourself one last crack at this. OK. Oh, the dilemma's back. No, I'll stick with drop zone three. Drop zone three, please. On the right, if you can. That's not far away. Oh, is the top shelf going to go? Yeah. I don't think it's enough to top go over. Oh, oh <laughs> Julia, hard luck. Just didn't quite get far enough right, that silver counter. And sadly, that means for you, Julia, it's not going to be enough to go through because at the end of the round, with £1,600. Very well played, Carl. You are today's you. winner. Well done to you. <laughs> Julia, it's been great fun, but I'm afraid with £1,250, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thanks, Ben. I've had fun. So, Carl, as our champion, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot count into the machine. Now, this one's bigger and better than all the others, because if you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Carl master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now, though, it's your chance to win an amazing cash prize for £30,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £2. 
text WIN to 65433. Text costs £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP2212, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Kyle is our winner today and has managed to get £1,600. That's quite a turnaround, Kyle. It really is. I, I thought I was going home earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You threw quite a few counts into the penalty pot, but then you won them back. Yeah. So you've won the penalty pot. That sort of got you back into it. Great performance in round two. Thank you. And then here we are, having seen off Julia in round three, about to take on the machine for our jackpot. Have you thought about what you might like to do with the money? Sensibly, I should put it towards uh, a mortgage and right. get a house. Yeah. But I love art, so I really want to get a Banksy. Oh, wow. Like, there's a... It's called the Neanderthals. Yes. And he's, like, pushing a shopping trolley. I really fancy that. And it's... I could stretch to it. It can go up in value as well, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Who knows? Yeah. Go for the Banksy. Wouldn't that be brilliant? It would... We'll see. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> fingers crossed you get the jackpot counter out. To be able to send you off to do something like that, to really indulge your passion, would be really special. So best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Time to find out whether Carl's going to win our jackpot today. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. Okay. If you'd like to go home with £10,000, just need to get it out again. If you to go home with grand. still a double on the top shelf of Drop Zone 2 there. Get them to try and drop together. Here's how you're going to do it. I'll show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. OK. Simple as that. Yeah. Right. Cool. So, what are your thoughts? The double looked good, but my nan has always said one or four. I think I'll have to go with what my nan said. Go drop some four. Drop some four? Yeah. Let's do it. Nan knows best. She does. Fire up drop some four, please. Pretty central, let's see. Looks good. As it comes through, it's nice and flat, which is always great. Maybe collect a little bit with this first one. There you go, £50 for you, Carl. We can put that in, takes up to £1,650. And the jackpot counter, very central, but very flat in drop zone four. Let's have a look at your end game subjects. This is what we've got for you. Film, history, nature, fashion, geography and music. Ooh. You can play them in any order you like. So where do you want to start for how many? I like film. Great. Uh, I'll go film for three. Film for three, please. Which film in the Star Wars saga is also known as Episode Three? Return of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith, or The Rise of Skywalker? Return of the Jedi is pretty new, I think. I think that's one of the... No, that could be an old one. So it's like the two series, as not There's one to three, even four to six. I've, I recognise Rise of Skywalker as being a poster, so I think that's since Disney bought in. So we're ruling the Rise of Skywalker out? Rule out Rise of Skywalker. OK. Then it's sort of... I think I've seen Revenge of the Sith. I think... Yeah, Revenge of the Sith, please, Ben. Revenge of the Sith? Yes, please. We're going to light up Revenge of the Sith, please. Initially, you thought maybe Return of the Jedi, and then you ruled that out. Is the answer Revenge of the Sith? Yeah, yes. got there in the end. Brilliant. I'm not quite sure how. I don't know how. <laughs> Great stuff. Brilliant. Drop zone four. Uh, drop zone four, please. Fire it up, please. Okay, straight in. Felt That's, like... uh, that looks good. It doesn't look bad. Yeah, and it's, it's nice and flat as well. Let's see what happens here. It's going to be a bit heavier, so we need a good squeeze. There you go. Yeah, lovely. Got it That's moving. Good. There's a mystery prize that could go here. And it does, yeah. Brilliant. Four counters drop in. Let's give you £200. Takes up to £1,850. One of them is a mystery prize as well. You've won yourself an all-in-one multi-jib, courtesy of High Street TV. News that. Yes! Yeah, that sounds good. Two more to put in. We've got the jackpot moving as well. Should uh, we go drop some four? Drop some four, please. Like that, please. Oh, that was a bouncy one. It was bouncy. Is it going to get a little nudge on the jackpot? A little nudge, yeah, OK. So we need to get it right behind the jackpot, yeah. don't we? There's a little gap there for it. OK, and one more to go in. Uh, drop zone four again, four please. Four up, please. 
right into that slot. Yes. There we are. Yes. Really smooth, clean drop that. And there you go. Just what we needed. Set it up. Cracking start. Thank you. In good shape. Let's go back to the categories then. Where would you like to go next? I'll top to bottom, I'll go history next. Okay. Please. How many? Uh, three counters. History for three. In which year did King John seal the Magna Carta? 1215, 1715, or 1915? I've been to see this in one of the uh, one of the cathedrals, and I can't think which one. So I'm pretty sure I know it's medieval. Pretty sure I know it's 1215, King John. Yeah, I'll go with 1215. 1215? Yes, please. We're gonna go with 1215, please. Pretty confident about this one. Is the answer 1215? Yes. Brilliant. Three counters. Uh, three counters. I'll stick with drop zone four, please. Drop zone four it is. Oh, wrong side. OK, a bit of a gap there as well. Is yeah. it going to slide under that black counter? Mm. Touch. OK, two more to go. Four again? Uh, yes, please, Ben. Light it up, please. All over the shot. Did changed its mind a few times. Little nudge. OK, let's see if we can collect a little money or get something moving on the bottom shelf. One counter drops in. Takes up to £1,900. And one more to put in. Uh, drops on four. Please. What's that for? Ooh, now, could now, now, now. Could it do it? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Right Definitely on the edge. Going in the right direction. Mm. OK. Let's go back to the categories then. Going along nicely here, Carl. Nature's next. Uh, nature, please. Four, uh, three. Nature for three. Just that little drop in four. Well, that is riding, so it's not going to do anything. It's just going to slide up and over. Discovered in Canada in the 21st century, the Reaper of Death is a species of which dinosaur? Tyrannosaur. Triceratops or Diplodocus? I think Diplodocus is in the British Museum. I think they call it Dippy the Dinosaur. It's between Tyrannosaur and Diplodocus. What are you thinking? I'm going to go with the famous one, Tyrannosaur. Tyrannosaur? Yes, please. Should we light it up? Yeah. We're going with Tyrannosaur, please. I mean, the, the, the Tyrannosaur is the, the, the scary one, right? Yeah, that's the... And the Reaper of Death sounds like quite a scary species, you'd think. Yeah. Surely it's the Tyrannosaur? Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. So, three counters. Uh, drop some four, please, Ben. Four up, please. Come back to... Ooh. Maybe some lateral? That's what we need. It'll only take a touch, but we definitely need it. You it flat. flat, yeah? Yeah. So I might get a little squeeze through that. The two black counters. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it was. Lovely stuff, Carl. Brilliant. On the bottom shelf. And a nice drop as it goes. Really nice drop. Bit of work to do now to clean the top shelf up, but 11 counters for you there. Brilliant. Well done. £550, money steams up 2450 Right, two more to put in. Drop some four, please. Four again. It's a bit sparse now, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Steady on. Wow. Oh, wow. Five more. So another £250. Brilliant. Money goes up again. We're up to £2,700. We're on the tipping point with the jackpot counter. It's looking good, isn't One it? One more to put in. Uh, drop some four, please, man. Let's do drop some four, please. Oh, be yeah. good. That could work nicely on that black counter, which could be in just the right spot. It comes forward. Is that going to... I'm not sure whether it's just going to squeeze alongside it or get it far enough. Oh. <laughs> oh, I tell you, there's a nice little cluster here that could go. Oh, just sneak underneath. Lining up very nicely, though, Carl. We're in great shape. Looks good. Let's go back to the categories. Uh, fashion for three, please. We'll have fashion for three. House of Harlow 1960 is a lifestyle brand founded by which celebrity? Lily Collins, Georgia May Jagger, or Nicole Richie? Not heard of House of Harlow. What about those celebrities? Lily Collins, Georgia May Jagger, or Nicole Richie? Georgia May Jagger, but I think that's because of Mick Jagger. 
Nicole Richie, Lionel Richie's daughter, Lily Collins, Phil Collins' daughter. Okay. It's going to be an educated guess. Georgia May Jagger. Georgia May Jagger? We're going down the middle, please. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Georgia May Jagger? It was Nicole Richie. It was. Yeah, Nicole Richie. Uh, right, not to worry. There we go. We're still in good shape. Still got two more options. Let's have a look at them. Geography for two, please, then. Geography for two. Which of these UK cities is located furthest south? Sheffield, Nottingham or Birmingham? Sheffield is up. That's up. It's up, like up. north. Like... So we're ruling Sheffield out? I think so. OK. Nottingham or Birmingham? I'm going to take a, a guess. It's Birmingham. Go Birmingham? Yeah, I'll try Birmingham. We're going to land at Birmingham, please. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Birmingham? It is. Brilliant. Well done. Right, two counters. Drop some four, please, Ben. Four up, please. Oof. OK. Could have that roll on yeah, the hanging over. Yeah, could, 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 couldn't it? Oh, no. no. Oh, it's right on the edge as well. It's right on the edge now. Is it going to come back and slide off? See, it's on the wobble. Oh, it's on the wobble. Oh, don't want it when it's... Oh. That is right there. That would have been right on it, wouldn't it? OK. That would have been good. Let's not worry about it. One more to go in. Uh, drop some four, please. Four again, please. <laughs> ah. Ooh, though. Just going to go past the silver ones. Yeah, OK. I get a counter. That's good. Yeah. 50 pounds there. So £2,750. Is where we are. Jackpot count is still there, sitting pretty on the tipping point. One last category for you, Carl. It is music. I'm going to go for free. Yeah. Give it his all. Music for three. Released in 2000, the Marshall Mathers LP was a UK number one album for which rapper? Drake, Jay-Z or Eminem? I know this one. My mum wouldn't let me have the CD growing up. Really? Um, Eminem. Should we go Eminem? Eminem, please. Again with Eminem. Let's see if you're right. Was it Eminem? Yes! Brilliant. Well done. Right. Three counters. Drop some four, please. Let's man. have four, please. I'll only take two, I think. Yeah, I agree. Right. If it gets in the right place. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Ooh. Now, that I... silver counter could help us. Yeah, that still could do it. Flat. It's flat. Squeeze that silver one through. Kyle, come on, machine. Come on. Go on. Ooh, I'm just going to sit and wait. Two more. Uh, drop some four, please. Four again, please. Still? It's not going to take much, is it? A little nudge. <laughs> 50 pounds goes in, takes up to 2,800 pounds. Drop some four, please, Ben. Drop zone four, please. Surely this time, surely. There's nowhere it can go that it won't hit it. Ooh, Maybe there. Better spin on it. Oh, it's spinning. Sit down. It is flat. Now, squeeze. Is the silver one going to go? It's got to connect to both those silver ones. Yes! Oh, OK. Is this it, Carl? Don't drift too far right. Squeeze! Oh, oh. it did! Close. Yeah, I thought it was going. I thought that was it. Two more dropped in. £100 takes £2,900 in the machine. We're out of categories, we're out of questions, but it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with £10,000. As things stand, you've got £2,900. Lovely amount of money, and you can walk away with it right now, or you could trade it for three final counts put it into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, you leave with £10,000 or you leave with nothing whatsoever. What are your thoughts? Would three be enough? I think it could. One right behind. Yeah. Knock it off. It's a big decision, isn't it? I'm going to take the money. OK, I'll ask you one last time. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the money. I will take the money. Thank you, Ben. OK, you're taking £2,900. Well done, Carl. That's a lovely amount of money. Brilliant. And it's been an extraordinary journey to watch you go from where you were in round one all the way through to this point. It really has. Question is, of course, and you were very torn. I've, it was it was so close. So to... close. But we're going to play out these three counts to see what might have happened okay. had you gone for it, OK? Drop one. I think it's just 
going to slide alongside it, isn't it? Drop two. I think it's too heavy. Yeah, it's too heavy. This was the third and final drop. Oh, that's oh. in the gap. That is in the gap. I don't think it'll be enough. Oh! So you absolutely made the right decision. How are you feeling now? Really good. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Carl. You're leaving with £2,900. You've also won a picnic hamper and your home gym really? as well. What a day. It's been a really great day. Thank it's you so much. It's been lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for coming and taking part. Thank you. Great stuff. So there you go. Carl's leaving with £2,900. He's got some lovely prizes. He was sorely tempted to take the trade. Look how close it was. If he had, he would have just lost £2,900. Join us next time in the fate of three more players. We're hanging the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.